Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Just kind of wander over here. Have a hey, thanks. How are you guys doing? Good, thanks. Great. How are you? Good. 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 Just chillaxing. Chillaxing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my agent. Hi, Lucas. <laughs> I am. I'm texting your agent. Apparently. <laughs> It's not a coincidence. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah. Right, so, um, tell us, are we going to be happy with uh, what we see this season? I mean, it's the magician, so we assume happy, sort of not, but um, maybe I don't know. Okay. It really, I guess it depends on. It depends on who you are and what you want out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, excited in terms of what we're going to see now with Elliot in his embodiment as not Elliot. Well, I will say that you're not going to see Elliot. At least so far. You're not going to see... The monster isn't Elliot. The monster is a completely different character. So you're, you're going you're gonna to see maybe something that you don't expect and maybe hopefully you won't uh, regret <laughs> the, the decision making of you know, losing... Elliot, I don't know. See, the truth is that I, I, Elliot's gone for as, as far as I've seen in the scripts. So hopefully he'll, he'll come back soon. But um, at this point, I got nothing. So you are you might be stuck with the monster for a while. Okay. Was that fun to play something different, or were you missing Elliot? It's fun. It's really fun. I mean, I love Elliot, and I love playing him. Um, but it's, it's also really great to change it up and to kind of deliver something that um, is, is outside of maybe what the expectation would be for me to deliver on the show. Do you kind of miss Elliot? I mean, you've been playing him for a while. Kind of, but I'm honestly having such a, a good time exploring this new character that, um, I don't know, maybe you'll fall in love with him. <laughs> and then, I don't know what, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. You'll always want Elliot. But... You'll always love Elliot? Yeah, okay. yeah, agreed. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I hope, you, I hope you get him back at some point, because I don't... No, I don't know. Yeah, I, I miss him. I do. I do miss him. And that's tough because of all the characters. It's, it's hard for us to even kind of anticipate what's in store because yes. for them, and we it, see where they are yes. and how we know they're going to have to get to where they need to be. Yeah. But in terms of Elliot, it's like, okay, you're you're kind of our big bat this year. I am. Yeah. Like Elliot. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know where Elliot is, and I and you don't know what's what the monster is going to do at any given moment. So you're kind of set up for um, for the rug to be pulled out from under you at any given moment. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's a nine-year-old without any empathy or impulse control. And a lot of power. And a lot of power. Ungodly power. Yeah. Or godly power. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a little of, a little of both. Um, yeah. He's scary, you guys. Yeah. But he's very innocent. He doesn't know any better. He's just doing what he thinks he, he's just doing what he needs to do in order to feel okay. Is that how you're coming at <laughs> That is how I'm That's coming how at it. At Absolutely. Okay. He's he's not the villain of his own story. He's the hero of his story and he he has a hit list of people that he needs to murder. Yeah. Well, and he, he's out now and he can't do that. He's been trapped for thousands of years. Yeah. How would you feel? A little hungry, a little tired. Yeah. I want to get out a little. Yeah, you know, he needs to stretch his legs, you know, or his new Elliot legs. He needs to learn how to walk. He needs to shed some blood. <laughs> I mean, you can't really blame the other characters for trapping him because they didn't—they didn't trap him in the first place. In fact, they indirectly set him free. So well, he can do whatever he wants. That. Including blame whoever he wants, as many narcissists do. So I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, and I don't know. I don't know who he. I mean, I'm figuring out who he is as this goes. So I'm. I my guess is as good as yours at this point. <laughs> I hope you guys like it. I hope you aren't like, oh man, that monster thing was alright, but like, can you get Elliot back? My, my goal is for you guys to fall in love with the monster at least a little bit, so that you have a, you know, a, 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 a little Sophie's Choice moment. Exactly. Well, every baddie has a little good in them, you know? I think so. And every baddie has a, a, a reason that at least for him or her is, is uh, grounded in some kind of 
you know, truth or emotional reality. There's some like rationale behind a, a villain making the decisions that they make. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> it could just be that's what it is, right? Yeah. I mean, this person, this monster, you know, is destructive by nature. So he doesn't know any better. It's part of who he innately is and something that he doesn't necessarily have context for in a human capacity. So he's trying to he's trying to have a little he's trying to gain these human experiences and kind of put together a human personality in the midst of his sort of like complete blackout in the world for so long. It's like the, like the old gods, you know, they just they were very separate and they had their own motivations for everything and yeah. it feels like that's kind of what he is because he was trapped for so long. Yeah. So yeah. You see that. Yeah. Now if you kind of breaking away from just the elegant story, would you personally are you looking at any point in the future to maybe direct any episodes or oh, that that's side a good of the question. camera? Um, I would hope so. Yeah. I mean I there's a whole protocol that, that, that you kind of have to follow in order for that to be possible, at least on our show. Um, it's very competitive to get a slot directing on our show, and um, I think that I would need to direct my own short film and, you know, have, have a little bit of experience under my belt uh, for that to be a reality. Um, but that's not out of the realm of possibility in the next couple of years, assuming we were, you know, continue for that moment. Um, and and I, I do have half a mind to shadow someone this season. Um, if, if that opportunity is afforded to me, if there's an episode in which I don't have that much to do, I might continue to, uh, to see that through. Yeah. That's something that definitely is, is in the back of my head. You know, the psychological aspects of the monster. How about the physical aspect? Yes, he looks like Elliot, right. but are there going to be like any like, like a shorter hairstyle or just something that will make him distinctly the monster? Yeah, so there's definitely like a slightly different, like very subtle makeup palette that's that's you know gone into creating him. Um, he has a little bit of like just a little like red around his eyes, sort of like like a like a baby mole rat, you know, or something. Um, and his hair is longish, as you can probably. Yes. Um, I don't know if that will change over the course of the season. I know our um, our hair, the head of hair, has had some conversations with me about where she'd like to see it go. But the word, the jury's out on whether that will, you know, end up. Hey, what's up, Ralph? Yeah. Um, miss you. Bye. Yeah. I know. Why aren't you here right now? But you also just like you know. You're just you know. You're just like. You're like, there's like a 10 foot pole between us right now. And that's... I was trying to talk about how nice our is. It is, it's great. Yeah, we have. We go to the lounge. We go to the lounge. They are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do that too in these interviews. And then, you know, back to reality. Yeah. You know. Back to reality. Hi, Ralph. That's my work husband, Jason Ralph. Um, just kidding, we don't like each other. Um, uh, so, yeah, so where were we? I don't know. I just like the different affectations and things to distinguish Elliot, mannerisms, and oh, just so that yeah. that change. Like, we, uh, yeah, you'll see. I mean, yeah, he's very different. He's not Elliot. He doesn't move, move like him, he doesn't speak like him. Um, he doesn't think like him. He doesn't want the same things. Or maybe, maybe, he does. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank okay. you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>